Lord, thank you for the day that you made, Father God. God, I thank you for uh, your amazing people. God, it's an amazing time. God, we're excited about what you're doing, Father, in um, you know our ministry. And Father, God, I'm so looking forward to this next dimension, this next shift that you're taking us in and through, Father God. Father, I know what uh, my first 40 day fast did for me spiritually and physically and, and for everything, Father God. And Father, I'm excited for uh, those who are taking this journey, Father, whether it be uh, the 12 hour fast or would be the full 40 day fast, God. Uh, but Lord, I, I just pray that you you speak to each person, give them revelation on on what they should do, where they are. And Father, I pray that you just give them clarity, Father God. Lord, we're excited, God. We thank you, Father. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. So um, yeah, this is the, uh, the the New Year Apostolic 40 Day Fast. Um, it's going to be on Monday, December 8th. Uh, well, this is the orientation today, right? Uh, December 18th, you know, 2023. Um, so this is just orientation, kind of what it looks like going over and things that they show that way you guys know because i know you guys have had a lot of questions people asking what's going on what it's about and kind of where this what this came from was it's a tandem of what we did you know those of you guys who were part of the the covid 40 day fast right when we had to stop having service temporarily at the church and then we were all online right got just amazing things there but this also comes from those of you guys who took the prophetic 360 course and this is a way of me giving you guys another thing, something similar to that, right? So this is a tandem of what, uh, those of you guys who've done the 40 day fast, but it, but it'd be like in the same manner as like the prophetic 360 course. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm really excited about this. So you guys have spurred me on, encouraged me, but you know, so many people have, like, when I've told my story about doing a 40 day fast, right, I've done three, but, but I've, but, you know, of course my first one was very significant as you guys know, because that's, that's when Jesus came to visit me. Right. And, and I know a lot of you guys have come to me about, man, I want to do a 40 day fast pastor. And some of you guys have, there are a few guys in the ministry who have done 40 day fast, right? Uh, being inspired by, by kind of what I've done, you know, what the Lord's done in my life. Right. And I, and, and so this is a way I know a lot of you guys want to do a 40 day fast. So if, if some of you guys are doing the full 40 day fast, this will definitely help you. Okay. Uh, keep you accountable, right? We, we're doing it corporately, right? And things of that nature. Okay. So, so yeah. And, and, and for the other, for the rest of you guys want to do the 12 hour fast, you still can do that, right? The seven, the, uh, the seven, eight, seven P like we did during the COVID years. Right. All right. So let's go and get into it. Okay. So um, who is this for, right? Who is this for? So this is for the believer who is not double-minded in their walk, right? This is for the believer who is not lazy or procrastinates in the things of God, right? This is for the believer who is hungry and thirsty for righteousness, right? This is for the believer who is submitted to the authority of God's word. This is for the believer who is led by the spirit of God, right? Uh, for the believer who has put away childish things. This is for the believer who is ready for the greater works, right? This is for the believer who is ready to learn the deep things in God's mind, right? And this is for the believer who is ready to deny themselves and take up their crosses, right? Is that you, right? So this is where I am, guys. I am so serious about God. You guys know that, right? And 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 so 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 yes, this is a shift, right? This is this is where we're going, right? This is what we're doing, and and I want you to be able to check all these boxes on this before you commit to doing this, right? So this is a this is going to be a time investment. It's going to be a financial investment. It's going to be a spiritual investment, right? Like you got to have skin in the game with this, right? It's going to cost you in all different ways, right? Because to walk at these different levels with God, you got to understand that, right? And 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 this is this is the most important thing that you can do, right? For those, if any one of you guys has benefited from my life being this way, this is where it started. I put it all in, right? When I was 22 years old, I went full throttle with God, right? I I I gave up, you know, finishing my college education. I gave up, you know, working for Disney, all that different stuff I was doing, and you know, going into acting and everything I wanted to do. And I, I, I saw the manifestations of the spirit. And I was like, you know what, God, this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I'm going to commit myself to this. Now, doesn't mean I did it perfectly from that point on, right? But I made my mind up. And even the mistakes that I made, setbacks I had, I got back up again, right? And so when you're doing something like this, when you're doing a 40-day fast, you got to make a commitment to God and to yourself, right? Because it's going to get hard. It's going to get tough your body's going to want to give up, right? You're going to, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel nauseated, right? You're going to get hungry, right? You're going to have attacks coming in, distractions coming in, right? Temptations coming in, right? This is not for the weak at heart, guys. And I'm, and I'm not going to paint this picture that it is, okay? When, when you want to walk and be like Jesus, it, it is the most 
it, it is the greatest thing you can do as a Christian, but it's going to be the hardest thing that you would do as a Christian, right? And that's why many people haven't done this, right? You don't know many people personally who have done a 40-day fast, right? You don't know many, right? Because it is a commitment, right? Life still happens. Things still go on. Challenges still come up, right? And 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 the key is how how much can you focus on the Lord? How disciplined can you be? How hungry for this are you, right? And, and, and so this is this is what's catapulted me to being where I am, right? And it wasn't so much the four day fast, but so much what I put into it, right? The the constant discipline, the constant focus, right? The constant, you know, spending time with the Lord, you know, praying for hours, right? Interceding for hours, studying the word for hours, right? Um, tuning everything out, even though I was still working two jobs and going to school at the time, right? This is what it's about. And I don't want to set you guys up for failure, right? I want you to know that this is what you should be a part of and what you should be doing, right? And I'm just going to be completely transparent with you from, from the get-go about it, right? Because like I said, this is not easy, guys. It's not easy, right? And, you know, we know we can do all things with Christ strengthening us, but but I, I really want you guys to really examine yourselves and really commit to this, Right? Because, because I'm looking for people who want to go completely serious in the things of God, who, who are not going to make excuses, right? Who are not going to be double-minded about this. Like, I need you to be serious, right? You know how serious I am about the Lord. And what I'm looking for and I'm asking for is people to, to be that same way, right? To be of that same mind. Because if we can take, and, and all of us can get to that level of where we're having all things in common, right? We're, certain, we're, we're in that, that spirit of unity with the Holy Spirit. That's when the creative miracles take place, right? That's when we see the things that go beyond, you know, the works that Jesus did. That's when you get into the greater works, right? That's when you get into the greater moves and greater waves of the Holy Spirit, right? As we see in the book of Acts, right? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm trying to create and cultivate, right? And, and we've seen amazing things in our ministry, right? So don't get me wrong. We've seen amazing things, right? God has done some amazing, amazing things and not shortchanged that by any means. But what would happen if we were all at that same spiritual level? Right. If we were all walking at a sold out, committed level to God, what would happen? Right. Look at the apostles. They were all on one accord. Right. The people who were following were all on one accord. And look at all the great miracles and all the manifestations, all the thousands of souls that were rolling in the kingdom. Why? Because they were in unity. Right. And that's imperative, guys. It's imperative that we do this together. We have to be in unity. Right. We, we, we have to be in sync with the Holy Spirit. Right. We, we, we have to have a, a, a single focus right? And, and move in that manner. And that's the way the body functions, right? And I want I want you to really understand that, right? Is this you, right? Can I rely on you? Can I depend on you, right? Can, can I know you're going to be there every day? Can I know that you're going to be there, you know, reading the word, praying, right? Participating, engaging, right? Instead of just going, oh, well, the first two days, oh, that's nice. And oh, well, it's too hard. You know, I, don't, don't, don't sign up. I will give you your money back. I'll pray for you. I love you, but I don't, I don't want you to roll in this. Okay. I want serious people. Okay. I don't want anyone who's going to not be serious. Who's not going to be engaging with this because it's so, so important. Right. It's so, so important. Right. And I want you to take this seriously. Right. Take this seriously because look at my life. I made this investment in my life 20 years ago and look at my life. Now I'm still reaping a harvest from that investment of spending that time for the Lord for 40 days straight. Right. I'm still reaping fruit from that. I'm still, you know, uh, gaining things from the Lord and God is revealing things to me. And there is a special relationship I have with the Lord that I know things and I understand things because of that time spent with him, of that engagement with him, right? And I want that for you, right? So I want you to know, is this you, right? Is this you? Amen? Praise God. And, and so as an apostle, here's my why, Right? You guys know what 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 the forty day fast has done for me, right? I've shared that on different times, right? In the school of ministry at PNA, uh, you know, um, during the uh, the first forty day fast that we did, all these other things that we did, I've talked about, and you've seen the fruit in my life, right? The revelations that God has given me, right? The miracles that have taken place, right? The character growth and development in me, right? All these different things that you've seen. That's where really everything broke open for me, right? Is when I committed to that fast. You know, I, I, I learned about self-control and discipline, right? Fasting has helped me have a lot of self-control and discipline and a lot of focus, right? That's why I'm so self-motivated, right? That's why I'm, 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 I, I go after things like with little or hardly any motivation because that's what happened to me, right? The Bible says it's God who wills and does in each of us, right? And I want you guys to experience that, right? A lot of you guys have not really tapped into the Holy Spirit that's inside of you, right? You haven't really understood 
the greater and deeper things of God and you want it, right? You're crying out for it. You've had a taste of it, but you haven't really experienced it at a, at a greater level, at a greater, at a, at a, at a deeper level, right? That like you've heard, you've seen, and you've experienced, right? And that's just about, I want that for you guys, right? That's what Paul constantly prayed for the different churches, right? And Jesus wanted for his disciples, right? Everyone wants, wants the people who are with them and follow them to have these greater experiences and these greater encounters, right? And, and it's hard because there's some things I can't even share and talk about. It's not because uh, I can't, but it's because I know people just don't know, right? And the first thing people are going to say is, well, where is that in scripture? Where is that there, right? And, and there, is, there is experiences that you have in God that are not in the scriptures, right? That, are, that, that God is not limited to, to what's written in the scriptures, right? He is the scriptures, right? And, and that's why Jesus says greater works we'll do, right? Because God is, there's so much about him. There's dimensions and levels, guys, and, and different things that go on that as Christians, we have no idea, no clue about, right? And, 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 and I want you guys to know that. I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to engage with that and have access to that, right? And, and that's where it starts. But you got to make a commitment to this, right? You, you got to get hungry for this. You got to desire this. You got to want this. You got to want this more than anything, right? That's how you have to be um, to retrieve that because, because God, he's looking for people he can show himself strong in, right? God is looking for people who are going to commit to his ways, commit to what he wants, right? Who are going to trust him, who he knows he can rely and count on. And, and, and he, think about this. God entrusts me with knowing why people are here, Right? He entrusts me with that information, right? He lets me know why he put this person or why they're born and, and, and the purpose he's given them, right? He trusts me with that, right? That's not a light thing. I had a hard time accepting God trusting me with information about why people are here, right? I was in denial. I, I, I didn't want to accept it. I was fearful of it because I knew I'll be judged on what? Every word, every thought, every deed, right? But, but then I came to a place of, you know what? Wait a minute, God, you chose me for this. You give me the grace for this. So let me just relax because you've already said this is what I'm going to do for you. And then that's when I made that switch, right? So when I made mistakes and did different things of that nature, I, the word says everything works together for our good, right? And I started believing what the word says and, and growing in that, right? And, 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 and that's what God wants for all of us, right? He wants for all of you to reach your full potential, to, to, to tap into what he's deposited inside of you, right? But you got to make a commitment to it right? You got to be disciplined. The Bible says those who were standing with Jesus were what? His chosen called and what? Faithful. You all, you guys are all called and chosen, right? But the faithfulness is where the problem is. The consistency is where we lack, right? The discipline, right? The, 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 the continuation, because we all pray and tell God, hey, God, I want to, you know, I want to know this. Or I want to do this. Or I want to see this. Or I want to see that. And then God goes, okay, I want you to fast, or I want you to give this. Or I want, you. oh, no. Nah. See, that's the problem. You want the greater things of God, but you're not willing to, to pay the price that, that it takes to walk in those things, right? I paid the price. God knows he can ask me for anything, right? I'll pay it. He knows it and I've done it, right? So, so when I pray and say things, God shows up and I know why, right? Because of our relationship, right? And, and, and so that's what you want. You want to be able to say with confidence, right? That because I because I have this deep relationship with the Lord, I can expect to see things, right? I can I can expect to see things change. I can expect to know things uh, that that people would normally know, right? And that's kind of what you enter into, right? Look at Jesus' life. Look how committed he was, right? Look how disciplined he was, right? And look how he was trying to share those things with his disciples, right? He brought them into, you know, think about it. Peter, um, James, and John they got to meet Moses and Elijah because of who? Because of Jesus. Right. They got to see they got to hear God's voice because of who Jesus. Right. So so when you walk in these deeper levels of the Lord, you bring people into a experience with the Lord that they may have not would experience. Right. And, and that's what me being an apostle and a prophet does. I can bring someone into the experience with God who may have never seen or heard or experienced God because of the relationship I have with the Lord. Right. And, and, and so that's how you want to be. You guys are carrying the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit can change and, and create anything, right? But we're not fully tapping into that, right? And, and that's why, this is my why. I want you to fully know and understand to, to as much as humanly possible what God has done in you, right? And that's what it is. That's my life. It, it's a fully expressed life of the Holy Spirit, right? I don't limit God, right? Because 
he doesn't need to be limited. He's not limited, right? And 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 so and so we got to take these limitations off. But it starts with you doing it on your end. You have to do it on your end, right? And this fast doing this is going to break that down and, and, and help you shift and move past that. Amen. So that's my why. I want this for you. Amen. So are you ready for transformation, right? You ready? You ready for transformation? I know you are. <laughs> All right. So here are, the, here are the details of the fast. Okay. So this is what we're doing. So uh, we're going to have daily AM devotions via email. So every day of the fast, Starting on day one, I'm going to send you out a, a devotional, right? So, so and it's all going to be prophetic, right? So, everything the Lord gives me, I'm going to I'm going to put in the email. So, I'm a, I'm going to have a mailing list, right? And so, whatever the Lord gives me that morning, that night before, I'm going to send out to you, right? Uh, the scripture with a revelation, right? Every day, right? And I'm going to give you, uh, you know, also a set of instructions with that, right? Uh, uh, to to what what to meditate on and things of that nature, right? Okay. And then um, it's going to be a, a new apostolic message every night before seven. So so typically we'll get on around six, six thirty. I'll let you guys know the exact times. Right. But it'd be typically at night and and we'll we'll break the fast together. Right. We'll go uh, to break the fast together. Those of you guys who are fasting the 12 hour fast. Right. Um, and then but those of you guys who are doing a full 40 day fast, let me know so we can talk and I can give you another set of instructions. OK, but but yeah, every 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 night I'm going to be giving you uh an apostolic message, right? A prophetic message from the Lord, right? Just, just, just speaking to you, okay? All right, and then we're gonna do corporate communion with assigned leaders. So, so every night I'm going to assign someone to, uh, to do communion, lead us in communion, right? So we're gonna have communion every, every day, right? We're gonna have communion every day before we completely get off the fast. We're gonna do communion, right? So I'm be calling some of you guys to, uh, to do communion, things of that nature, okay? To lead us in a prayer and to take us through communion, all right? Um, so then we're going to do strategic assignments and prayer points. So there will be specific things that the Lord's going to give us to pray about, right? Pray about in our country, pray about in our world, pray about for other people, pray about certain things, pray about certain nations, right? Um, pray about different uh, strongholds and different things that they said we need to pray corporately uh, as a unit, right? That, that are going to affect changes, right? In our schools, in our government, right? Uh, in our employment system, in our economy, right? It's so important, guys. Very, very, very important. Amen. And, and we're going to have those prayer points, okay? And then also we're going to have a uh, prophetic activation and cultivation, right? So, so some of you guys, you 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 do hear from the Lord, but you're not but you're not really sure and really trusting it, right? And so what we're going to have is uh, workshops of where you know you guys are are giving and receiving words from each other, things of that nature, right? And I'll let you know, guys know when that comes up, things of that nature, okay? It's going to be all spirit led, okay? This is going to be all spirit led, so that's why I don't have a really day one. We're doing this day two. We're doing this. It, that's not it. This is a gist of what's going on, but it's going to be prophetic, okay? Um, but cultivation, but it's important that you cultivate your prophetic gift, right? You cult you 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 cultivate the apostolic anointing in your life, right? You cultivate these different things because that's what I've done, guys. I've done a lot of practicing, right? I do a lot of practicing, right? That's how that's what sharpened me and helped me uh, get here. Besides spending time with the Lord and in the Word, is I'm always practicing um, the gifts, the the prophetic and things of that nature, okay? All right. So uh, divine impartation revelations, right? So at the time, as spirit leads, you know, I'm going to be imparting it to you guys and speaking things over you or sharing whatever the Lord has, right? And things of that nature. And, you know, however God wants to do that, right? That's not my main focus. But I know that, you know, when we engage and get like that and that glory comes, those things come up, right? So I may have a word for you, may have a revelation for you to share. Somebody else may have a revelation to share or a word to share, right? So we're going to open it up for that, okay? Uh, I know a lot of you guys during the, the, the initial four day fast had dreams, right? A lot of you were getting dreams uh, during that COVID fast. Like they were powerful and profound and we were interpreting things in nature. That was really crazy. Okay. Um, so you will get a, a 40 day fast a completion certificate and um, warn your access to the recordings and the PDFs, right? So uh, I increased the storage because we're going to be, we're going to be doing a lot of these fasts next year. So, so you can have access to it, but I, I can only keep probably up to a year because it's going to be a lot of recordings that we're going to have stored and things of that nature. Okay. And then, um, you know, and again, I'm going to give a different set of the fast instructions for those who are doing a 12 hour fast or seven day, seven P and then those who are doing a full 40 day fast. Right. So who's looking to do the 12 hour fast and who's looking to do the 40 day fast? Who's doing the full 40, right? If you don't know yet, it's okay. But, but who's doing the Who's looking at doing 12 hour fast? Who's looking at doing the, the full 40 day fast? Kind of what I need to know, okay? Okay. Okay, wow. Wow. Wow, okay. 
Wow, a lot of you guys doing a 40. Wow, okay. 12 hour, 12 hour, wow. And again, it's no knock if you do the 12 hour. It's, it's just as powerful, right? But but I know a lot of you guys want to do that full 40, right? Wow, okay. That's what I'm talking about, though. I like that. Really? Wow. 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 Okay. Wow, that's incredible. A lot of you guys are doing the 40. Wow. That's incredible. Yes. Wow, I know, right? Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Praise God. All right. So uh, after the 40-day fast, right, this is what you can expect after the 40-day fast, right? This is what happened to me after my first 40-day fast, right? And then the other two fasts I've done, it's, it's been an increase in glory, right? But number, the number one thing you're going to notice is you're going to have a deeper and more prominent breakthroughs, right? I, I, I had addictions to pornography. I had addictions to video games. I had addictions to all kinds of stuff. And it's like when I did that first 40-day fast, man, it's like that stuff started falling off of me. And I can just really literally stop and get away from it and not obsess over it, right? And not struggle and not, like white knuckling, right? That's one of the biggest things that I saw about when I started fast, like the, the, the deliverance that I went through, right? And things of that nature, right? Um, so you're going to experience breakthroughs like you've never seen before, right? And, and you're going to learn things about yourself and God's going to reveal deeper things about you, things that have kept you, you know, stuck and, you know, frustrated and angry and, and confused. It's like it all comes up, right? And things of that nature. God just reveals it, right? Because you go so deep with him, right? And that's one of the most profound things that I discovered during these fasts. It's like that I started learning some great things about myself that I don't think I've ever would have known or recognized if I didn't do the fast, right? Uh, number two, you're going to have a greater certainty about hearing the voice of God. You don't ever see me not being sure about what God is telling me to tell someone. Why? It's not because I'm a special person. It's because this, this time of consecration, right? This time of consecration with the Lord has built my confidence up. Whatever you spend time with, you will become more like, right? So when I spend time with the Lord, I become more like him, right? I, 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 I take on his mannerisms, his, his love, his, you know, his thoughts. A lot of times I tell you guys when I'm prophesying to certain people, I'm, I'm, I'm having the emotions of God along with the revelation of God with it. Why? Because I spend time with him, right? And, 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 and that's what it is. And you don't ever see me kind of being like, no, you know, people, you know, you see people go, well, no, I'm not sure about that. Or I don't know about that. And I'm like, no, this is what God is saying. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Or I didn't expect that. Right. And, and that's another thing that it really helped me do minimal God. It, it, it gave me a lot of, uh, stability and surety and confidence in what I hear from the Lord. Right. And things of that nature. Uh, number three, you're going to have better revelation of God's word, man. When I study God's word, you know, and of course, use all the different references and interlinear that I have, things of that nature. But man, it's like the I, the spirit gives me revelation, enlightens me on different things, right? And just gives me additional revelation, right? That I may have not read, you know, found just reading or studying or doing the cross reference, all the research that I do, right? And I love that, right? Because Jesus said he's, it, it is given unto us to know the mysteries and the secrets. Like he gives us the keys, right? Uh, of the mysteries of, of, of heaven. So so we have these keys, but we don't know what they do. We don't know what they access, right? And things of that nature. Um, that's been another profound thing. Um, um, number four, you experience more profound encounters with the Holy Spirit. Man, I'm telling you, you got, and you guys are being part of PNA. You've seen this with me. You see me in service and I'm going like, uh-oh, wait a minute. I feel that. Something's happening. Something's going on. And, and I'm like, I feel electricity going through me, or I feel a current, or I feel a wind, or I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, stop, stop, stop you know, and, and I'm picking up on the atmosphere, what the spirit is doing or wants to do. Right. And, and, and that's what I know. Right. And so when I'm, when I'm coming up to a service saying, okay, God's going to heal or God's going to prophesy or God's going to do this. It's not me wishing upon a star, right? It's God our revealing to me. That's what he wants to do. And that's what's going to happen. Right. And then my goal is to get everyone in alignment with what God has already spoken and declared. Right. And get everyone in a posture to receive. Right. So sometimes we have to lay hands on people. Other times, Nobody touches the person. The person is completely well, right? Why does that happen? Because again, uh, the sensitivity I have to the Holy Spirit now, right? Fasting has gotten me so sensitive to the Spirit of God, right? So sensitive to what God wants to do and 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 what's going on, right? Um, you know, even just the other day, uh, I, I 
I went downstairs to, you know, go in the pantry or whatever. And then my wife had a client that was that was down, you know, uh, in in her in her suite, right, where she does the lashes in the garage. And so I, I came out and, you know, my wife was like, hey, babe, she this this, uh, you know, my client wants to know about, you know, uh, you know, working out. She wants, you know, she wants she has some questions about that. So I, I go, I, I go, OK, and I'm talking to her and she's like, yeah, I just want to get stronger. And, you know, I don't really know what to do. She was she was talking as if. She just wanted to, you know, have some knowledge about the gym and working out, right? Like she had some desire to work on the gym. And as she was talking, I'm seeing her heart desire is that she wants to be a model, a fitness model, right? And she didn't say anything about that. She just was just going on about, yeah, I just want to learn the weights and I just want to get stronger because I'm not really strong. And then, you know, my wife could see it. You know, you you got you you guys all know that look I have in my face when guys talking to me, right? I'm looking around or looking off or whatever. And I said, yeah, you're not being completely honest, you know, and, that, and that's the way I talked to her, right? I said, no, your desire is that you you want to go into fitness model and bodybuilding, right? And she said, yes, I've been telling my mom and my family, my boyfriend that, and things of that nature, right? I said, yeah. And I told her about my calling and how God reveals things to me and things of that nature, right? Um, and yeah, and, and, you know, I'll be working with her soon. She wants to, you know, start working out and weightlift things of that nature, right? And I told her I have people I connect her with if she wants to go into that. Uh, to that field of working out things of that nature, right? But but that's how you want to be, right? You want to you want to be so sensitive to the Holy Spirit, right? So intuitive, so so in tune with Him, right? That any moment's notice, you can hear what God's opinion is about someone and what God wants to do and what God wants to say, right? That's what God wants for you, right? And Paul even tells us that in First Corinthians fourteen one, he said desire, he said pursue love and and desire to get, especially that you may what prophesy, right? And Paul highlighted that, right? So number five, uh, increasing all spiritual gifts. Now, every gift that comes from God is perfect, right? But what I mean by increasing the gifts is that you increase in the manifestation and awareness of it, right? So, so that's how the gifts get 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 powerful and they, and they, and they, and they increase, right? It's because you have an awareness, a sensitivity, and a confidence, a faith confidence that comes with walking in the gifts of the Spirit, right? So when you declare and say, okay, you're going to be healed or this is going to go on, you start seeing those things more and more and more, right? Because, because you, you've learned how to humble yourself, right? And there's no greater uh, humility peace than, than fasting, right? And, and, and humbling yourself before the Lord, right? And the Bible says God gives grace to the who? The humble, right? So when you do this kind of fasting, you're completely humbling yourself. It's a, it's a great sign of surrender to, to not eat right? To, to be a true daily sacrifice for the Lord, right? And, and Jesus tells that when you humble yourself, God will what? Exalt you, right? That's where promotion comes from. It doesn't come from the East or the West. It comes from the Lord, right? And this is what goes on and takes place when you commit to something like this, right? And you give your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole body to it. These are things that you're going to see, right? And then number six, you have more self-discipline and, and, and you'll be able to teach others uh, all the same, right? So, so not only will you um, come into the space of where you have more self-discipline, right? And I think that's what helped me a lot. Fasting has helped me a lot with self-discipline, right? And self-control, right? We know it's a fruit of the spirit, but it's really, really, really helped with self-control and self-discipline. Amen. And that's what you really, really want. You want to be disciplined. You want to have self-control. This is the key thing that helps you achieve goals and things that you want to reach. The reason why people don't achieve their visions and their goals is because they lack discipline. They lack focus, right? They everyone has a New Year's resolution, but then at the end of the year, why does why doesn't everyone, you know, uh, walk into the victory of what they set out to do early in the year? Discipline. That's it. It's, that's the key thing. They lack discipline, and if you struggle with discipline, fasting is one of the best things to help you with that. Amen. So you won't go through another year not seeing, not having, not possessing what you desire, right? Because I'm telling you, it's not God taking it or keeping it from you. It's your lack of discipline. It's your lack of discipline. Does that make sense? And, and, and so you you got to do that. And then and then the goal is you you take that revelation information and you share it with others. You help others get there, right? You help others develop, right? You help elders grow. You make disciples, right? That's what Jesus tells us, right? Amen. So, but I but I, I love this quote here. Your your life is as good as your mindset, right? The Bible says, as a man think it, so is what? So is he. Amen. So y'all, y'all, that that's what, and and that's what I'm looking forward to see. You know, one of the biggest things about doing the school of ministry, all different things that nature doing this ministry is that, like I said, I've seen people just transform from 
a life that I decided to pursue 20 plus years ago, right? And again, I'm still seeing people benefit from that decision I made and from that fruit through the Holy Spirit, right? And that's how you want your life to be, amen? Because the world needs more of us. It's not enough of us out there, guys. The world needs more sold out, genuinely people who believe in what the Spirit is doing and want what the Spirit is doing. There are people who are hungry for God out there, right? And, and God wants to use you in his capacity, right? I know you guys want to be used in greater capacities, right? Or you're going to be on this call, right? You're going to be watching this video. You're going to be on here if you didn't want to see it, right? Is that true? Amen? So that's what you're going to see. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see that about all you guys. Okay, so we're going to the, the, the registration uh, piece. But but uh, so we will do a total of four fasts, right? So, so we're going to do four 40-day fasts in 2024, okay? So the first one is going to be the New Year's Absolute 40-day fast. That's going to be from January 1st to February 9th, okay? So that fast is going to be from January 1st to Friday, February 9th, okay? And then we're going to do one in the spring, a spring four-day fast. So that's going to be a, a different theme one, right? I'll give you the name of that one. That's going to come up, right? And the Lord is, you know, I've been talking about what that fast is, is going to be, okay? But that was going to be um, April 1st through May 10th, okay? And then we're going to have a summer four-day fast, right? So that was going to be uh, July 1st uh, through uh Friday, August the 9th, okay? And that, that's going to be a different fast again, right? And then gonna, the last one's going to be the the, the fall 40-day fast, right? And it's going to be from Tuesday, October 1st to Saturday, November 9th, okay? And like I said, each fast will be different, a different focus and a new theme, right? So none of these fasts will be the same, guys. Each one is going to be different, okay? Each one's going to have a different focus, a different feel, and a different thing that we're doing, right? Because God, there's there's dimensions and levels to God in the spirit, right? And, and, and so... And I want you guys to be a part of that. I want you guys to run with me in this apostolic thing, right? I want you guys to be there and go, right? If you're ready to take the limitations off of your life, things and nature, be a part of these fasts, right? Make the commitment, make the investment, get involved, right? Because I'm telling you, I'm going to give you everything, right, that I possibly can. And I'm going to be growing during this time, too, because I'm committed to this, too, right? So I'm doing this regardless. This is my life next year, right? And, and, so, and so I want you guys to be a part of that with me. Amen? Amen. Y'all ready? So wait a minute. Let me ask a question. Is anyone going to do a full 40 day fast on all 40s? <laughs> who's going to do a full 40 day on all of these? Let me see who's going to do it. Luis, you are? Ah, <laughs> I care. Wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. I love it. But if you get one in, just get one in at least, right? Get this first one in, right? And, and then like we always say, <laughs> see, this is where I am, right? This is me. I'm crazy like this. Hey, oh, yeah, I know, sweetheart. I'm crazy like this, guys. I'm crazy, right? Like, this is me. Like, I'm crazy. Right. I'll go there with God. I'll do it. Right. And I've done it. Right. And, and so that's what it takes. Right. And things of that nature. Right. Let's go crazy. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. That's what it takes. What, what else? What other kind of investment can you make that's better than your spiritual investment in Christ? Right. What's better than that? Right. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this, guys. I really am. Amen. Wow. But okay, at least get one in, right? At least get one in. <laughs> Chris, go lose 70 pounds. <laughs> Two out of four, Joe. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, that's not bad at all, right? It's not bad at all. Okay. So, I think for me, I'm going to do, I'm going to fast. I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to eat before seven. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to eat until after seven o'clock, things of that nature, right? And then some of them, I probably just do the full day or full week or whatever the case is, stuff like that, right? But but I'm really excited for you guys, though, who are who are doing your first 40 day fast, things of that nature, right? Yeah, really, really excited about that. Okay, so uh, here are the restoration details, okay? So restoration just closed on the 31st, okay, at 11 p.m., Okay, just like the Prophetic 360 course, we got three levels. General mission, okay, so that's $99. So it's going to be a day, the daily uh, AM devotional via email, like we talked about. It's going to be uh, an apostolic message every night uh, before 7. 
Um, then we're going to do the corporate communion like we talked about with a signed leader. Then we're going to do the strategic assignments and prayer points like we talked about, uh, the prophetic activation and cultivation, the divine impartation and revelations, um, the 40-day fast, uh, certificates, and then uh, a year access to recordings with PDF uh, fast instructions for the 7A a and 7, um, for 7A, 7P, and then the full 40, right? So you guys let me know what you're doing, who's doing what. Then we have the premium, which is 250. It's everything in general, plus a uh, two, uh, 2024 vision and goal achievement plan, right? Uh, via one-on-one -on -one Zoom call for you and a, and a friend or relative. So if you have somebody you, who's partnering with you and doing this, it, they get everything you get along with it, okay? So they'll get the all the access stuff, the general mission, and then they'll get also the uh, the one-on-one -on -one with me along with that, right? So they'll, they'll get all that for free along with you, okay? And then their VIP is everything from general and premium plus access to every 40-day fast and life fulfillment coaching once a week uh, or 52 sessions for the entire year, right? So so this is the only time I'm doing this, guys, because I have a lot I have a lot of life coaching clients that I'm working with, especially going to next year. But I wanted to offer this to you guys. So if you guys wanted a four-year of life coaching with me, fulfillment coaching, get it in now, okay? So, so uh, and each admission comes with a, a satisfaction guarantee or our issue a full refund 40 days, right? So there's no risk to you. Uh, of course, this supports the ministry, guys, of course. But but if you feel like this is not you or whatever the case is, like I said, if this is not you, don't do it, okay? If you have an issue committing to this financially, don't do it. I don't want any guy, anybody signing up who has an issue with this, okay? Because if, if you feel conflict with that, please don't do it, okay? But but for those of you guys who are ready to go forward, who are serious, who are committed, and who want to grow and just be transformed, let's go. Let's get it, okay? You got it? All right. So, all right. That's my presentation, guys. Do you guys have any questions for me, okay? Any questions for me? Okay, do you just drink water for 40 days? So, no. So, if you're going to do the full 40 days, I'm going to give you a list of instructions things to do, right? So, I'm going to give you uh, so things to drink with electrolytes, right? Some some different instructions for broth, right? If you're feeling nauseated. So, I'm going to give you a whole instruction list, right, for uh, if you're doing a full 40, right? So, those guys doing a full 40, I'm going to be walking a little bit closer with you guys, okay, who are doing a full 40, okay? Yeah. I mean, so you can do the full 40, but you're going to need a little bit more than just water, okay? Because I, I assume you're still going to be working, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, you can get lightheaded. So what's the longest you ever fasted before? Have you ever fasted before, Lon? Okay, you've done three days. And what did you do during those three days? Okay, you did. Okay, down you fast. So you you ate relatively what fruits and vegetables, things of that nature. Okay, good. And how were you on that? Okay, awesome, Brett. Have a good night. Oh, okay, got you. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Okay, guys. Any other questions? Um, you did last minute. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I'm gonna send the for those guys who want to sign up, I'll send the link out here uh via email, okay? Okay, you did last minute. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll I'll get that out to you, Joseph. Okay, I'll send it out to you. Okay, write that down. Okay, yeah, I got it out. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, Andrew. Okay, sorry about that, Minister. A. Okay. Y'all good to go? Okay, any questions? All right, let's roll, right? Let's go. Okay. You excited? Yeah, let's let's get in, guys. Let's do it. I'll I'll send a link out. Okay. I'll send a link out to everyone, right? So like I said, 
You know, if you're ready to do it, let's go. Let's go, right? Awesome. Wow, so a lot of y'all doing up to 40. I mean, that, that was like, wow. Okay. So yeah, I'll get that to I'll get that out to you guys, okay? But I just wanted to get the information out so you guys know you guys can pray and decide what you want to do, right? But nonetheless, I'm going forward, right? So I, I just want to give you guys the information, okay? Awesome. Well, thank you guys for getting on. Um, I love you guys. And I'll I'll get this recording back out to you guys and then I'll I'll send a link out with it, okay? All right. Well, all right. Well, y'all have a good night. I love y'all. See y'all soon. And I'm excited, guys. Thank y'all so much. Okay. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. I'm excited. Thank you, guys, for making this commitment. Amen. It, it, it excites me that you guys are wanting to commit and do this. Amen. Amen. Good night, Lord. All right, Blake. Love you guys. Love y'all, too. Y'all have a good night. Okay. Hey, look, Aaron Taylor. Good night. Good night, Karen. Love you guys.